had this little challenge this year uh, about getting some bikes for the uh, Toys for Tots. And uh, we delivered two, said so we'd get two more if we attend. Well, we're heading off. Troy was uh, Kobe fishing that day, so he wasn't able to be there for the challenge. But he's risen to the challenge, as have a lot of our, our employees. And I'm, I'm really happy to say that uh, we have elves built bikes. We have uh, a storeroom that stored them. And uh, today we're going to be delivering 37 bicycles to uh, Toys for Tots. So, great send off. And uh, you see, we even had some creative carpentry skills back here with bike rack. One of our trucks, Little Carlin. It's uh, really a great day. So thanks to everybody for, for pitching in and, and making this a reality. Easy day, but a very blessed day because Brevard County has yet again showed all us their love for Toys for Tots, especially Port Canaveral. What's been going on? Like, uh, you know, you've been getting a lot of deliveries this week? Yeah, this week is our delivery week and Sunday is our distribution day. We'll uh, cater to over 800 families and 12 charities. So yes, we are very blessed to have all the toys and we're also very blessed for uh, all the helpers too. We've got lots of volunteers who are working around the clock. We've got deliveries all up until tomorrow and um, we've been working 14 hour days. So we're extremely tired, but extremely blessed. The zip tie and the uh, helmets on the bikes, so every bike has a helmet and a lock. Sunday morning is our distribution and um, it starts at eight o'clock and runs up to about five. And everybody will come in a line, like a conga line, they have a control number or a ticket. We uh, call it into our staff, they bring the bags out and the bikes out, and um, they go on their merry way and hopefully uh, have a very Merry Christmas on behalf of Toys for Tots. Now we, we know when we spoke last year and actually this year, you said bikes were in short supply. Yes. So yes. How, how, how's that been working out since you got the word out that you needed bikes? We've gotten. I think triple the amount we had the very first year I've done this, and this is my third year. So I want to say we have well over 100 bikes, and my first year we had 30. So that tells you how much has changed and how generous Brevard County is. And you guys helped us with the adult size bikes, which is the hardest ones to get. Because those are the ones that, that's a mode of transportation for our kids. That's sometimes the only mode, and people don't have money to buy cars, so they, you know, that's their mode of transportation. So that's thank cool. you. <laughs>